Hi everyone, this is Sean and this is our ELEC 241 traffic light controller project that we implemented and I'm about to show you how it works. First, Adam, I'm wondering, can we get a shot of the wires? So, just for a second, there's the wires. Here, here are um, eight chips that we've programmed and we've wired them up to do a particular task. So, this is what we spent most of our effort on was actually putting these wires, figuring out how these chips will be coded and so on. Okay, you can go back. And now I'm going to show you basically what it does. So, I'm going to switch it on. This is an intersection. Actually, this is a replica of a real intersection. Uh, here's Macquarie Road. There's Waste Road. I know what kind of road is called Waste. And uh, Pimble and Ride. This is in North Ride, close to the Macquarie Uni, I think. So it's the intersection of Talavera Road and I forget the other road. Yeah, yeah, Lane Cove Road. Lane right. Cove Road. Okay, so this is a, a mock-up of it. And I'm going to switch on the power now. Uh, initially, of course, it's all red because it hasn't been initialized yet. What I'm going to do is the clock is ticking. I'm just going to initialize it. So as you can see, this is what's called a default flow, which is if none of see each of these sides has a sensor which we can toggle with this little switch. And if we have toggled nothing, the default flow, which is down and up, is going because that's where most of the traffic comes from. Now, at the moment, this default flow is just sitting on here waiting for a switch to be switched on. This switch here represents to turn right here if there are cars on these sensors. This one here represents these sensors. And this one represents anything on this side. And this one represents anything on this side. And so we've had to design it to basically, no matter which combination of sensors are on, it relieves traffic from all of those sides. It gives them each a turn. It doesn't necessarily mean it will sit on with this, for example, if I switch on the sensor, it won't sit on here indefinitely until the sensor goes off. But it'll give them X amount of seconds to relieve from that side and then it'll return to the default flow. And if the default flow for 20 seconds has done, because it's a 20 second flow, if that's done, then it'll revert back if the sensor is still on. So what I'm going to do now is just show you some of the basic flows that we've implemented. The first one is uh, well, we can start from this side, yeah? So if people want to turn right here, it will obviously switch them all to red, give the right turn, switch it back to red, and go back to the default flow. Now, obviously in a real life situation, hang on, I'm busy doing a recording. <laughs> in a real life situation, uh, these wouldn't have to go red, but we haven't had time to perfect that. But anyway, as you can see, the sensor stays uh, on, and it just keeps going flow one and then this flow so it keeps reverting back to give these people a chance to go but it won't give them indefinite time uh, if we give it for example this side then as you wait it'll go red hello in a few seconds and give these people a chance five seconds I think and then go back. We've set the clock to be a bit faster so you don't have to sit and wait forever. I'm going to switch on this side and this side so it'll go there and then there as far as I remember. So it relieves that side. Let's pretend that actually got rid of some cars. Switch that off. <gasps> ah, I know what went wrong because I switched off at the wrong time. Restart. I actually found a bug in the program. I switched off the sensor while it was trying to calculate which flow to enable. So I did find a bug, but ignore that. <laughs> That's good. So there, it relieves that side, then relieves that side, then it goes back to one. And then I left these two on, so it will repeat that cycle. It'll relieve that side, then this side, and then it'll go back to the default flow. If you want to see what the actual chips are doing while it's doing this, I'll turn this over for a second. You can see a whole bunch of lights and stuff going on the left hand side there as it's busy calculating those flows and as it's busy ticking to see how many seconds. As you can see, it's actually counting on there. It's using counters to calculate how long it allows those flows to go on for. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to show one final combination, which is all of the sensors on. Which should... Cool. 
So all of the sensors on will be, it'll be here, then here, then here, and then the right from both sides to relieve every possible traffic flow. So this one is 20 seconds, it's always the longest. Then that goes red and comes from that side. Then that goes red and comes from this side. And then this will go red and it'll come from both of those. And then it'll go back to the default flow. So, that's it. Cool. Thank you. Redo.